What's going on YouTube family? Back at you guys again with another video today. Today's video, I'm going to do some retail arbitrage. First, we gotta stop and drop some packages off. This is my second trip to FedEx today. Don't know why I didn't schedule a pickup, but I didn't, I forgot to. So I gotta go drop them off myself. But we're gonna be hitting a bunch of different stores, probably mostly like Ross, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx's. Um, those are on my agenda today, so I'm gonna bring you guys with. Um, and hopefully bring the camera in the store today um, and get some footage inside the store. I've never done that before, so that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, guys, just going to go show you guys how the hustle's done, how to make some money, um, and exactly how you guys can get out there and do the same thing. Stay tuned. All right, guys, just arrived at FedEx, if you can see back there. And fun fact, if you guys haven't been watching the channel for too long, this was actually the last place I ever worked at, the last job I ever had. Um, a little over two and a half years ago. I was a package handler. All I would do is offload um, the semi trucks full of boxes. Um, they pretty much worked me like a dog. Um, no air conditioning in the warehouse back here. So yeah, it's pretty fun coming almost every day to drop off these big shipments um, to all my old co-workers because they're, they thought I was just working for another company. Um, and they're like, how's your new job going, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nah, this is my own business. Like, all these boxes are for my business. And so it really surprised them. But yeah, guys, that's just some motivation to keep going, keep pushing. It is possible to do this full time. Um, and I'm just living proof of that. Like, I started two and a half years ago. Um, with 1500 bucks and built it into pretty much I'm, I'll do seven figures in sales this year pretty easily um, but yeah guys I know there's so many other success stories on Amazon so just keep going out there keep sourcing product start that private label product apply for those wholesale vendors just get out there get after it and make it happen all right guys I just got a call from one of my managers at a Marshalls in my area uh, she always calls me when they mark stuff down she said they just marked down a bunch of like socks and stuff so um, I'm gonna head over there now see if I can pick those socks up um, yeah guys it pays to have connections with the managers guys always be nice to the managers um, if you always buy a ton of stuff from there bring them some donuts bring them some coffee get them a gift card do something nice to let them know that you appreciate them also guys another tip is get some form of business card made up for your business i know you're just a reselling business but um if you're at a store and you're buying a large amount of stuff say hey can i speak with the manager hand them your business card and say hey listen if there's anything that you guys ever need to liquidate or um, you guys want to get rid of a lot of stuff um, Just give me a phone call and I'll come and see what I can take and trust me it works. I've done it I have connections with managers at Converse at the Nike store at the like six or seven Marshalls um, some of the Rosses um, So it, it really just pays to let people know what you do and be nice to them be friendly um, Be thankful that they're helping you out and giving you guys these good deals and a lot of the times especially with the Marshalls managers They'll even mark it down even even further for me if I'm buying like a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff um, So yeah, that's just a quick tip. We're gonna head to the Marshalls now and see if we can pick up these socks Alright guys, just got out of that Marshalls. They were eyeing, they were on me like a hawk with this camera in there, so I wasn't really able to capture too much good footage, but here is the item. Nike socks, um, paid $10 each. Clearance, I got 22 packs of them. And then I'm going to open up my scanning app to show you guys. Ugh. Okay, it's coming up as they're selling for $33.58, but that's a little bit inaccurate. They're actually selling on the Amazon Sellers app for $29.87 is the lowest FBA. We're gonna click right here. $29.87, we're gonna put in our cost of purchase. I'll put about $10.70, including tax, plus 50 cents to send it in. 
So we're looking at about a $9 profit per unit. I got 22 of them. So we're looking at a little bit over a $200 profit on this one stop at Marshall. So I'm going to continue and go to two more Marshalls up north in Scottsdale. And then I'm going to come back and hit two more in my area. That'd be nice if we could get a few hundred or like a hundred packs of these socks because they sell pretty well. I have a pretty decent margin just in case the price tanks. Look at that sales rank, 199 in sports. So th this is a type of item. Let me set the camera down so it's not all shaky. This is the type of item that I'm not afraid to buy a few hundred units of because I know that with the demand for this product, I mean, it's one of the hottest selling products in the sports category under 200 you're probably selling a few hundred units a day so i have no problem going super deep on a product like this um also guys another tip what i like to do is when i'm doing retail arbitrage to so keep track of my receipts um i always keep them together and then once i send a shipment in i have all the receipts for that shipment um and then i like to i have a receipt scanner on my computer i put the date i put what shipment it was so if any type of inauthentic claim comes through i have these receipts ready um, to prove the authenticity of these products also guys with marshall's you are going to want to take a picture of all the tags in the product because it has the item number that's on your receipt um, just a receipt from Marshall's it won't have the name of the specific product on it So you're definitely gonna have to take a picture of the tag with the full number on there just to um, Have proof that you got it from Marshall's um, Ross will have the product name on the receipts But if it doesn't make sure you're taking a picture of the store's tag with the product in the picture as well So you can prove that authenticity just a quick little tip for you guys um, There's a big misconception that receipts don't work for proving authenticity. They do, they help with inauthentic claims. I've used them before when I've had, I've had companies such as Converse contact me, ask me, hey, where are you getting your product from? We need receipts, this, that, and the fourth. Um, I sent them receipts, I sent them the tag inside the shoe. They said, thank you, blah, 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 everything was good to go. I've had a couple of other smaller brands um, had Amazon contact me asking me for proof of authenticity sent them a receipt with the picture everything was good to go guys so um, receipts will not get you ungated in a category but they will prove authenticity so don't let any of these there are a few wholesale sellers out there that will say on YouTube oh you can't use receipts I've used them plenty of times so trust me you can use receipts to prove authenticity um, but yeah guys we're gonna head to the next Marshalls I'm kind of on the hunt for these socks um, and I'm going to pick up some other stuff on the way and at the end of this video I'm going to input all the stuff in inventory lab to give you guys a brief idea of how much profit I made in this single day So make sure you guys are watching to the end of the video All right guys quick tip. This is gonna save you guys trust me if you guys are tired of the small carts at Marshall's okay Look next door. If there is a home goods next door, just walk next door, grab a few of the large carts, and bring them in the Marshalls. I do it every time, and it saves me tons of time just going back and forth getting more carts. Just a little trick, but trust me, it helps. All right, guys, filled a home goods cart full of Nike socks. Um, told you the home goods cart will come in handy. Ugh made a little stop at Nike too earlier got some Nike elite socks those sell pretty well they're having a discount on them but yeah guys we're filling up on to the next all right guys this is actually the next day um, my camera died yesterday so I'm making this video into the next day um, so I unloaded most of the stuff and we are back at it again today which I guess will make for a cooler video um, I'll be sourcing until this car is full today. I'm about an hour out from home, so fuck. All right, YouTube, back at the shop right now. Just unloaded all the stuff I picked up in the last day and a half. Um, really mostly a day, because yesterday I did a full day of sourcing, and the day before I did like two hours, so about a day and two hours of sourcing. Um, this is all the stuff I got right here. And then got some stuff on the table over there. 
Still need to clean out these bags right here. I need to find a place to take them. I don't want to just go dump them in a random dumpster because it's illegal. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to unpackage this stuff and kind of go item by item, show you exactly what I got. I'm going to show you the inventory lab numbers and just kind of break down exactly how much profit, expected profit, there is in this haul. Um, I didn't want to keep just filming at every store. Hey, this is what I got here. Hey, this is what I got here because that kind of seems repetitive and boring. Um, so I'm going to show you guys all the stuff here. Um, and then we're going to get this all packaged up and shipped out for you guys. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, as you can see, I picked up a lot of these socks. I got 127 units here. Um, so buy cost $10 plus 70 cents for tax. Um, 127 units selling for at least $26. That's the price right now for the buy box. Um, but this thing is literally ranked 204 and it, sell, it sells at least two, 300 units a day, most likely. So I've been seeing the buy box price go up all the way to 30 and down to 26 area. So in between there is where I expect to sell. So I just put the low end for you guys on this video. I'm probably gonna put it up to about $28 and then just hold it um, and exclude it from my repricer. Um, and I'll get that $28 price very easily. But just for the sake of this video, because we'll have the haters on here saying, oh, blah, 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 blah. So I'm putting the lowest price I'm going to take for these. So 669 profit times 127 on socks. Let's go add to batch and let's see what we come out with. Okay, 3300 sales value, buy cost 1358 net profit 849 Not bad for some socks. It's going to print out all these labels and I just have to de-sticker these, put the labels on them. Shouldn't take me more than, you know, 20 or 30, 40 minutes, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is the first thing. I got a bunch of these, and I'll keep you guys updated with, with what else I got. All right, guys, so sort of what I do is I have all my product ready to go, right? Um, and I have a box because I know all these are going to the same warehouse. So I get a unit, I peel off the sticker, um, I take the prepping label, I stick it on there, and I place it in the box. Um, I do this as I go, so it's just more organized. It goes quicker, so I don't have to figure out which stuff goes in which box. I already know all these are going in the same box, um, or going to the same um, FBA facility. So I just place them in the boxes and go pretty much box them as I go, and it makes it go by quicker. Just a quick tip showing you guys how I do it. Um, I definitely need to get some tables because... I don't have much table space right here, so I'm thinking get a couple tables put right there, one back here as well. Um, and yeah, that's just how I do my prepping for now. All right, guys, picked up four of these Under Armour backpacks for $32. Um, that's after tax. Um, the lowest new price is $94.95. Merchant Fulfilled is $87.29. The rank's super high. Um, so yeah, we're gonna list them for match the same FBA price get these offloaded pretty quickly profit on these is going to be $32 per unit or actually that's the cost sorry um, $39 profit per unit times four so that's another item I got all right guys picked up two of these Nike basketballs for $12.99 a piece at Ross um, the rank 31,000 in the sports category, which is pretty good. I got two of them, added some tax, so $14. Um, they're selling for 45. Profit is 14.22 times two. Um, another cool item, I've never sold any type of basketball, soccer balls or anything really. Um, so thought I'd pick them up and see what they're about. All right, guys, I got some of these little Madden figure things. If you ever run into these um, and can get them for a good enough price, they're pretty good sellers, um, decent profits. Uh, let's see what they're hitting for. On Amazon, I have one inbound already. Okay, so the rank is 46000 in toys. I have three of them. I paid $5.99. We'll put six fifty dollars for tax. Um, they're selling for eighteen fourteen, so I'm only making a five seventy three profit. Um, but they'll sell pretty quick, easy money, um, easy stickers to take off. But yeah, I just thought these were pretty cool. 
Um, I'm not too into fo football or anything, but I've sold these before and they sell pretty good, so be on the lookout for these. Alright guys, I got more socks to sell. Nike Elite socks, some Under Armour Sportswear socks. I sell tons of these every single month. Pick them up from places like Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, the Nike outlets, the Nike factory stores. Not huge profits, maybe five bucks a pop, but they move quickly and I sell tons of them every single month. Um, so yeah, I'm going to separate them by color and size, get them listed, get them prepped, put them in the poly bags and label them. Alright guys, I just finished uploading everything in inventory lab. The only thing I didn't put into inventory lab is about 10 pairs of shoes right there. I'm gonna wait till Friday to send those out because I'm doing uh, my regular weekly shoe run um, sourcing shoes. So to Friday I'll have about 100 pairs of shoes to send out. So I'm just gonna wait so I don't have to send those individually um, to a separate warehouse because all this other stuff is pretty much going to the same warehouse um, But yeah guys got it all packaged up in these boxes all this stuff right here some more stuff Just some regular mostly sporting good stuff, but let me show you guys the numbers So total SKUs 46 total items 224 sales rank 26,000 which is pretty solid um, total sales value is $6,224.13. Buy cost is $2,415.35. Expected profit. Expected profit, okay? It's not going to be exactly this number. Most likely going to be a little bit less. $1,859. Um, plus, if I were to add those shoes in, it would put me well over the... Uh, uh, just a little bit over the $2,000 mark. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, especially if you're new to the channel and want to learn how to make some money selling on Amazon. Um, leave me a thumbs up. Hit that bell notification to stay um, up to date for when I post new videos. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to join the Facebook group in the link down below. It's completely free. And also follow me on Instagram. Put my tag down there. I'm going to be starting to do some just stories and Instagram lives on there and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, plan on seeing some videos doing uh, some in-store sourcing at some stores I've never done before. Like I'm going to probably do Sam's Club, Costco, um, maybe like Home Depot or something or Staples. Just some random stores I've never really done too much sourcing at. Um, just to see if I could find any profits. Okay, guys, but thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys for the next video.